It's really frustrating when you expect to have support and mentoring from your boss, and yet you don't seem to ever get any kind of feedback from your boss. And in fact, sometimes they don't even respond to your messages. One thing to keep in mind is if you feel like your boss is ignoring you before you jump to conclusions that it's personal, try to find out what your peers are experiencing. Do they also not communicate very often with your boss? If that's the case, then that can at least help you feel a little bit better knowing that this is not personal, but more of a style issue with your boss. One thing to think about is I know a lot of people I work with that take tremendous pride in not being a micromanager because they've worked with micromanaging bosses before. They hated being micromanaged themselves. They often are independent take a lot of initiative, and they like to have a lot of space themselves. And so they assume that that's what their team would like. But you may not feel that way. You may feel like you'd want to have more contact and more guidance from your boss. So one thing you can do is actually take control of that by requesting periodic one-on-one sessions. Now, keep in mind that your boss may not have very much time. So make sure that you are prepared for these one-on-one sessions and you take responsibility for them. So all your boss has to do is show up and answer your questions. I would suggest giving your boss a quick update on your progress and then coming with a question or issue that you'd like to discuss or get your boss's perspective on and make sure that your one-on-one sessions are 30 minutes or less and that you stay on time. If you can do that, you might be able to get one-on-one sessions with your boss every two weeks, at least once a month. And that may help you get more attention from your boss, especially when your boss finds it's very easy to have a meeting with you because you're prepared and it's going to be a productive session and all they have to do is show up and give you their brain. Now, you may also want to try developing a network of other people that you can get guidance from because keep in mind that your boss isn't the only one that you can get guidance from. And that's usually a good idea, no matter what kind of a boss that you have. 